What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Uh, I, you know, I had the pleasure of going up to Northern California and, and actually playing with Phil Lesh from The Grateful Dead uh, at his venue, Terrapin Crossroads. You guys got to check out that place. It's amazing, amazing music. So I was kind of inspired to do a kind of a little Jerry-inspired uh, lick for you guys. It's in the key of C, and you could think of this as kind of like the country scale, which is really like the major pentatonic scale with some uh, some little passing tones. So we'll zoom in, check it out. Uh, also, I have tons of extra stuff regarding guitar lessons uh, in the links below this box here. Uh, appreciate that extra support from you guys. But let's zoom in. We'll break this one down and hopefully have fun. Here we go. All right, so if we're playing kind of a thing with a C chord here. You know, just like a country kind of thing with the C chord. This could actually work over a C or even a C7. Um, I'm thinking of it as like a straight C major chord though. So first let's just go over the little scale and we could call this the C country scale or the C country blues scale. Um, really just knowing it's better than having to know what to call it, but our roots right there, just like a C chord. Okay, then we have the open D And then one, two. And the trick with the first fret on the D string is that it, it has to pass by. If you stick on it, it sounds wrong. But if you hear it passing up to the next note up or pulling off to the open, okay, so we got three, oh, one, two, oh, and then two. Then not the open B string, just straight to the first and third of the open B. That's the root, you know. Then, I'm going to use a little box up here, and this is all still for C major. Got a little box right here. And so that, that note right there, the fourth fret on the B string is that same passing tone. So you have three, four, five, three, five. Now watch this little run, because I'm going to show you a lick. So we're doing this kind of thing. Five, three, five, four, three, five, two, open. Now we're in that scale that I showed you. So that's another option. that. So Jerry did use that a lot. Check it out. You can think of it this way. Um, five, three, five, four, three, five, two, open, two, one, oh, three.
will now want to show you an actual lick that uses this scale. And don't worry, I'm going to play it nice and slow for you, but first, just, just listen to it a few times. So we're using some of the open strings, which is real nice. So we're sliding up to the fifth fret on the high E. You can do it from a half step or a whole step back. Either one sounds good. Then I'm going down to the third. Then I'm going uh, four or five on the B. So. Then I'm rolling over to the fifth on the G. Then I'm going to the second fret of the G from the fifth. And then open, so you've got So then I'm rolling back to the fifth on that G again. So you've got. So once we go, I'm going to hammer, hammer don't hurt them, second fret on the D string, then the open G. So watch, put all that together. Now I'm pulling off on the uh, first fret of the D string, first to open, and then that ring finger on that C note or the C chord. See that any little piece of that phrase can be worked on to kind of also get it as part of your vocabulary, but then improvising, you're improvising ideas off of another idea. You see what I did there? All right, one more time, ultra slow.
There was. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Got the links down there. Uh, appreciate the support and hope to see you again real soon. See you later.